Queen Elizabeth I came to the throne in 1558 and sadly there were several Catholic plots designed to remove her and harsh measures were taken against any Catholic priests who conspired to take part in these plots. We enter this world knowing only life, yet death awaits us all. Using some of the most up-to-date scientific equipment, we endeavour to gather evidence that there is life after death. These are our investigations into the mysterious world of the paranormal. Whatever you have seen, whatever you have felt, whatever you believe, there is more to this world. There is the ghost dimension. During the Queen's reign, many large houses contained priest holes, which enabled priests to be concealed in case a search of the property was conducted. Some of these priests hiding in these properties would have been discovered and executed in the very place they stood. Inside of tonight's location, bones potentially belonging to one of the priests have been found in what people believe may have been a priest hole. Our journey tonight takes us to one location and inadvertently we discover buried deep inside of a forest its owner's former dwellings. Hello and welcome. The ruins behind me were once a private chapel, but the ghosts that roam here are anything but private. This is Lydia Abbey, and this is Ghost Dimension. The ruined church of St. Catharines is known locally as Lydiat Abbey, but it was never a real abbey. It was a private chapel built for the island family of Lydiat Hall sometime in around 1470, and it was built for husband and wife Lawrence and Catherine Ireland. When Henry VIII abolished the monasteries, the law also impacted on private chapels, and most were decommissioned. Then they either fell into ruin, or on occasion, were able to become part of the parish churches. Interestingly, neither of these things happened to St. Catherine's, and it continued to be used until after 1550. The site also has its own burial grounds, and there are numerous gravestones some dating from the early 1700s. Records show that Jesuit priests were secretly buried here as well. A hooded figure has been seen wandering the grounds both during the day and at night. Could this be one of the Jesuit priests who were laid to rest within the grounds of the abbey that perhaps actually isn't at rest for some reason? A woman in white has also been seen moving around the grounds and with inside the abbey and has appeared to be sobbing on several occasions. Why is she so upset? Is she looking for somebody? And could this be Catherine Ireland, the former mistress of Lydiate Abbey? With so much history surrounding the Abbey and multiple reports of paranormal encounters, what would our skeptic Devante believe could be causing the disturbances here? So this is St. Catherine's Chapel. It's a well, relatively old building with it being at least 400 years old. With it being that old, there's bound to be break-offs of the material. Like it, as you can see from the brickwork, it's quite old. It's already chipping away. 
if there is break-offs at the higher points, you're going to have a lot louder noises, which people might misconceive as it being the paranormal, I suppose. They've heard something, they've seen something move, or they're just dropping off. Also, people have, people have this misconception that once a building's made, it's still, it, it's not. It's continuously moving, you've got the foundation shifting all the time. It's, it's always setting, a building doesn't fully set, to be fair. In brickwork, you've got creaks, it's not just in wood. You've got, um, I suppose, I don't know how to describe, you've got noise, it's not like a snap, but it's sort of just like a ending of the bricks, rubbing, rubbing together, which makes friction sounds. And then also you've got outside influences. I, if you look at the building, you can see large openings for the windows. With wind getting funneled through there, you'll hear howling, you'll hear, you'll hear noises that wouldn't come from just in an open field. You also have to take into account what's surrounding us. You have a lot of trees. Trees, the roots continuously expand. With those continuously expanding, it'll begin to move the building again, even more so. Movement builds up stac static energy. With static energy, I suppose you'd have meters going off. As to whether this is actually the paranormal or just the building acting the way a building should, that, that's yet to be seen. I suppose you would have to have more investigation into that. During our exploration of the area, we stumbled upon Lydiate Hall Farm, which still houses the remains of Lydiate Hall, hidden deep inside of an overgrown woodland and has also been host to its own fair share of paranormal encounters. Lydiot Hall, now being reclaimed by the land, once stood as a glorious home to the island family. So, what ghostly tales can be told of the spirits that appear to be haunting here? Been here 35 years, but lived in the area all my life on the next farm. Um, the ruins involved uh, have gone through a bit of a dilapidation stage, but I have experienced the sighting of a well, what do you call it, a spirit or a ghost in my time. Plus, I've, I've known other people that have seen the same thing, which it, it turns out to be a, a, that of a priest. And we've also had people that's gone into the ruins and that's come out very quickly because they don't like the vibes. So they get bad vibes. And it goes on and on and on, probably will do for years, won't it? My experience, I was, I was in the woods uh, on a Sunday afternoon it had to be quite murky, didn't it, which it, the stories go by. And when I turned around, there was somebody uh, stood in the bushes watching me. And as I turned around, uh, saw something with long grey hair, and they suddenly disappeared again. And it turned out that they actually say it's the, uh, the ghost of a priest who was sort of like trapped in one of the uh, hidey holes when when they wanted to write to be a Catholic and he died in there and apparently he did find his remains and his, his bowl and his spoot in this uh, chimney when they, when they dug it out. It is believed that there had been three secret hiding places inside of Lydiate Hall and that there was also a hidden tunnel that connected the hall to the abbey and that six priests often hid there secretly. The Lydiate Hall it itself is connected to Catherine's Abbey because the people that had Lady Hall at the time, I think it was the islands, he built Catherine's Abbey to his wife and that's, her name was Catherine, that's how it came to get the name Catherine's Abbey. But um, I don't think it was ever really fully finished like or totally finished. There is uh, a young girl coming down the farm drive on Saturday morning to work and she knew nothing at all about there being a ghost. But she said to us when she came down, I've just seen a blonde haired lady leaning on the fence on the outside. So I said, well, there couldn't be, and it, her point is, it, it must have been the, uh, the same thing as I'd seen, like, yeah, so. And one or two have seen the same thing, like, so. With multiple eyewitness reports of spirit apparitions, would we be able to capture on camera one of these manifestations tonight? Our investigation of now both the Abbey and the Hall was looking promising that we may make contact with the spirit from the afterlife. But could both of these locations actually be as haunted as people believe?
So Liddy Hall is a 500 year old building, well, what's left of a building. It's a bit weird how fast it's deteriorated because when you see photos of the original design, it's quite an extensive building and with just a few chimneys left over, it, it makes you think what actually happened. As I'm stood there now, there was a there was a dig up not well quite a few years ago and the ground still it's still moving. I can feel myself going down a little bit bit by bit. And that's played a factor on the new refurbishment. You can see it breaking off, chips coming off, and that that would be a big indication as to noises that people have heard. Brick falling off from high heights can make quite a significant impact in a quiet zone where the only thing that you can really hear is the birds. There's been quite a few reports of people seeing what they describe as a white lady walking through, well, they are ruins at this point, walking through these ruins. That's a bit hard to describe as you have you have tricks through the light, you've got trees all around you, you've got sun coming through, it can make many different shapes. Even looking at the wall now, I could quite easily say, oh, I can see a face there, I can see a frame, but it's not actually there, it's just a reflection coming back into my eyes. You've also got the new mud put down, moisture starting to rise again. Anything from something such as steam rising up from the ground, you're not gonna expect steam coming off, so that could quite easily be seen as an apparition. Roaming throughout this entire farm area is a huge number of peacocks. Many people see birds as omens, but would they have any significance on our investigation tonight? As you can see where we're stood right now, there is no, there's no electricity, there's no wires, there's nothing, I suppose, of this century running through here, pipe wires, nothing. So you shouldn't really get any EMF readings there should be nothing, it should just be a flat baseline of zero. With that being said, there's also birds here. Birds are the homing, the homing animals, they know where to go based off electrical frequencies. If you've got a reading off an EMF frequency and the reaction from the birds, then I don't know, you can take from that what you will. It could be something out of the ordinary, but who knows, you'd have to get that first before you could say anything and expand on that point. Tonight we pray for guidance and evidence that proves that Lydia Abbey is still very much alive with the spirits of the past. St Catherine's Abbey tonight. We yeah, are, it's very noisy as you can hear. Lots very noisy. Peacocks everywhere. Yeah. This place is like 500 years old. It was a private abbey, it wasn't a public abbey. It was a private abbey which was actually for Lydia Hall. Yeah. And we didn't know that Lydia Hall was still here. And today we ventured and we found it, which is over there in the distance to the to the left of us. We stumbled across it. All the ruins. Yeah. And then guess what? The place has got its own ghostly reports. Well there was a priest bricked up, wasn't there? On yep. the wall. So is he still wandering? Is he still, you know, out there looking for some peace? Well, yeah, because he was three priests all night, you said. He was, he was in the war, wasn't he? Yeah, so, so will we encounter him tonight? Who knows? Who's the white lady that's exactly been seen? Exactly, the white lady. Who's she? Yeah. She's been seen not only here, Yeah. she's also been seen over there. Hopefully, um, we'll encounter the white lady tonight and find out her story. Yeah. That will be good. I'll, I'll, I'm looking forward to doing that. Who knows as well, with the people that have reported seeing things walking around this abbey, mm. yeah? Is that because of this stone tape theory where things are recorded, so it's like a residual energy exactly. in, in a way? Exactly, yeah. Or is, is it an, uh, you know, something that can be explained naturally? Yeah. Are they just seeing things when their eyes are tired and maybe it's the lights are playing tricks? Mm. Or is there actually something paranormal going on here that's linked to over there? To over there. There could be, and you know what? What best way to find out than to start to investigate? Let's go and do it and let's go and let's see if we can see these peacocks. Come on then, let's, let's do go. it. With two locations to cover on our investigation, we split into separate vigils with Sean and I starting at the hall, while Paul ventured out of the woods to check out Lydiot Abbey. So this is Lydiot Hall. This is where we're going yeah. to investigate. 
It's already weird, isn't it, Bex? It is. It's very weird. We put this meter in the old fireplace and we've already got a reason on it. Now, we shouldn't be getting anything on it. There shouldn't be anything there. But take a look. We couldn't get the camera on quick enough, could we? No, we couldn't. <laughs> there we go. Now, that is bizarre. Really bizarre. Well, that's the temperature dropping. And that, what you can hear, is the peacocks. Now, what we thought was, you know, we've been here for a while. What, what's spooking the peacocks? Well, I don't know. It's weird, isn't it? Yeah. Who knows what it is, but one thing's for sure. It's ever since we, we got here, something's happening. Yeah. Something is definitely amiss, I think, here. And I think we're going to find out tonight. So we've got more equipment over here. We've got the REM over here. Did you hear that? No, but what else have we got next to it? That's the obvious, which we're going to use in a bit as well. And I've also got a REM putter, um, K2 meter. Um, so I'm going to switch that on now. I'm going to carry that. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, OK. Now, guess what, Bex? That's kicking off. Going to near enough red. And the birds are kicking off as well. The birds are kicking off. So what? what is it freaking the birds out? Is it the priest that is buried in the brick? Is it? Or is it another thing? Is or is it, it the white lady? The white lady? Or is it something? Else. Something else. The K2 meter and peacocks had started to react at the exact same time, and earlier Devante mentioned that EMF fields can also affect birds. If you've got a reading off an EMF frequency and a reaction from the birds, then I don't know, you can take from that what you will. It could be something out of the ordinary, but who knows, you'd have to get that first before you could say anything and expand on that point. Was this just a coincidence, or is there a paranormal reason for the instant reaction from the K2 meter and peacocks? Let's go and have a quick ask. look, because that's stopped flashing and the bird stopped. Should we go and call out? Yeah, come on. Right. Is anybody there? Is anybody here? Is anybody come into this place to join us on this investigation? Anybody at all? Oh, it's a different bit. No, it's, just like... it's like you asked a question and something came and freaked the bird out. Yeah. So, now in the ruins of St Catherine's Chapel, I have triangulated, I'm hoping might be a hot spot. So I've got a doorway there with a REM. We've got where would have been the altar with the REM and the EDI. And another REM in that doorway there. So I'm hoping that um, either the white lady that's been seen or the monk or priest that's been seen might just either enter or exit this area. Does Catherine Island still come and pay her respects in this chapel? Are you the white lady that's been seen? Could you let me know please? My name's Paul. I do not have a, a title other than Mister. And with uh, no particular lineage. And well, there goes the REMS, and I was just looking there. Thank you. And is this you, Lady Catherine? Can you step away from that? It always goes blurred. Let's see if we can refocus. There we go. So the REM's going off. Thank you. Can you step away from that, please? Thank you. Thank you so much. 
Now Paul was also experiencing readings on his REM pod, and whatever it was appeared to be intelligent. So the REM's going off. Thank you. Can you step away from that, please? Thank you. Was Paul in communication with the White Lady? Our investigation of Lydia's Abbey and Hall had taken us all by surprise, as the activity was instant, and we could not wait to see what else we could uncover as the journey continues. There's more of the ruins over here. Yeah, the reason why I've got my hood up is because the peacocks are all in the uh, trees, and I want to shield myself. And they are <laughs> they just, well. Earlier on, we were told that there was 60 peacocks roaming around, so you can imagine. The amount oh. of mess. Wow, OK. 60 peacocks, and that goes mental. Are you are a you... spirit that likes the peacocks? Yeah, are you affecting the peacocks? Did you hear that? Yeah. They just said somebody behind you. Somebody's behind you. A man. He went, yeah. Is anybody here? I heard that. Did you hear it? It was a deep voice, like... Yeah, 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 <laughs> a deep voice. Did you hear it again? Yeah. Can we go through there now? Yeah. Right, we go that way. I just did a quick sweep then to see if anybody was there. There's no one there. I am, uh, as I was saying, I'm not royalty or thank you again. Thank you. That is really good. Are you coming into the chapel? Are you going to come and join me? Can you step away from that and come closer to me, please? I'd really appreciate it if you could. Thank you. Now step away from it and come to me. Thank you. Come to me now, please. Can you come towards... Thank you again. Ooh. Just out of the corner of my eye, I just saw a flash of light at the back there. And that rim's going absolutely bonkers. And it's very, very cold in here. Obviously, there's no roof on it, and somebody's nicked the double glazing. Hello? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> if you shout out here, they all acknowledge they are here too. They sometimes sound like cats. It just feel like there's something over there, doesn't it? Look. What can you see? It's a shadow. Is it on camera? I've got... I'm, I'm pointing at the, where I can see the shadow. I'll show you my finger. Here. You can see a shadow there. Is there anybody out there? Anybody at all? That's going mad. I can see it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can you hear that? Can you hear that? I'm running. That's, yeah, yeah. yeah but yeah, I yeah, thought yeah. it was that way. I don't know what the hell's going on here. Babe? Once again, the K2 meter reacted in synchronization with the peacocks, confirming to us that whatever was here was creating enough energy to affect the birds. Bex and I also heard the sound of someone running but caught no visual figure on camera. That's going mad, I can see it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can you hear that? Can you hear that? I'm running. That's, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can you hear that? Can you hear that? I'm running. That's, yeah. Would whatever just ran away from us return back and make even further contact as the night continues? I'm sure I just saw something over there. I don't know, but I can hear voices. 
Yeah. Let's nice go and voice. grab the let's go and grab the ovulus. Yeah. Let's grab the ovulus and let's see if we can maybe audibly by the ovulus get a, something to happen. You know why this is happening? It's the first Never investigation. Never been investigated before. Yeah. Let's go and grab the ovulus. Okay. Something behind us. Can you please, if I've got this right, I know I know you've done it twice, but if I've got this right, and you are Catherine, can you set that one off again for me, please? Is this... Okay. Wow. Okay. So I ask... Whoa! Ho oh, ho! No, no, something just touched me. Whoa. Okay, thank you. Who's, who did that? Jesus, something just took me on my back. Shine a light. Who did that? That really just took me by surprise. Just felt like a hand in the middle of my back. While the REM pod alarmed, Paul felt what he described as a hand pressing on his back. But what wasn't heard until the video was edited was the following voice which was caught on the camera audio. Shine a light. Who did that? That really just... Who did that? That really just took me by surprise. Just felt like a hand. Had we just caught a spirit person acknowledging that they had touched Paul? If so, who was it and what more would they be able to achieve as the investigation continues? Now that was like a, di a distraction because this REM went off over here, so I turned, had my back to the other one, and something touched me. So that felt very much like it was a distraction. So we've got a REM pod down here. What? It's just instantly going off. No way. And then the third one. No. Well, and look at the meter in your hand. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. That is red. See if you can find the source for it. Let's see if we move it around. So if I take this camera and move it around, yeah. can you Let's see? Let's see if you can see it. Did it, it literally just oh. stop? Oh. Whoa. Hey. Yeah. Did this be the priest? Where the priest, the priest is? He's buried in bricks, isn't he? Yeah. Was it around here? Yeah. Are Must have been. Because this is going mental. And that... REM pod went off. It's just all around. It really is. All around where we stand. Have you noticed how dark it's gone quickly, hasn't it? Really dark. There's no reason for that to be going off, Bex. No. Can't see your face. Smile. <laughs> okay. We've got instant activity. Yeah, we have. As we're investigating this place, and what's weird and what's more surprising than anything is the conditions out here yeah warrant no noises or anything it's weird it the, the, let's put it this way the uh, all of the equipment shouldn't be going off unless it's paranormal activity exactly and i think we've got ourselves some paranormal activity i definitely think the priest is buried here look yeah this won't stop and the rem pod going off and that meter's going off isn't it so this is uh, part of the cemetery, the graveyards, there's not many headstones here, there's a few, just illuminate a little bit, so you can see there's a few, put a rem there and then the touch torch there. I've also left a rem a little bit further away from me just to see if anything approaches. Is there anybody here amongst the gravestones that would like to talk to me? Feel that you have unfinished business and cannot rest? Would you like help?
the investigation of Liddy Abbey and Hall was continuing to be ever successful, and it appeared that our presence had intrigued the spirits haunting here to interact with our team. But would they get stronger as our journey continued? What is it? What's happening? What's it? Are you okay? It's just go. It was just on pure red before when you said right. And then I felt somebody touch me. Is any? Whoa! What? What the hell was that? What? It was like somebody was stood I heard that. here. I really did. Me, and I could feel the breath on my neck. Here, right here. What the hell is that noise? Can you hear that? Yeah. This is livening up, isn't it? Yeah. This place is freaky. Whatever's here, Babe. I can see that red from here. That's red, isn't it? And the heckles on my neck and your neck, I don't know, but mine is certainly going up. I, you know what I can feel? I can f Growling bird. I can feel like warm on my back. So anybody over there? There you go. Thank you. I keep seeing movement there, don't I? Thank you. Who are you? I knew there was something, something going on there. Thank you for that. Who are you? Can you make that light up more? What just felt somebody touch me. You're doing really well. Touch that metal stick so it lights all the way up, please. Who are you? I'll tell you what, let's do it this way. If you're a male, Light that up for me as much as you can. Are you a man or a boy? Light it up. Okay, more movement just over there. And a sound over there. Can you tell us your name? No Michael. way. Michael. Uh, but you physically hear that? Yeah. Like a man went, yeah. Michael. 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 Yeah. Spider. Did you see that? Did you see it? Did you hear it? I heard it. I didn't see it. I heard that one. It's too dum dum. Sean and I had both heard what we believed was a disembodied voice saying the name Michael. We were not able to identify this name during our research, but perhaps Michael could have been one of the priests hiding in the hall. Can you tell us your name? No Michael? way. Can you tell us your name? No Michael? way. Can you tell us your name? No Michael? way. Could the spirit of Michael be responsible for causing the activity during our investigation? And would he show himself in full manifestation? You know what though, this place would have been here throughout the wars and if the stone tape <gasps> theory is correct... Oh God, you yeah, hear the noise, wouldn't you? You hear the noises and bang! That is going mental again. That's really weird. Oh my oh, God! What the hell is going on? Who the hell is that? Something just touched me on the back! Okay. Wow, this is going weird now. This is getting really weird. Who the hell was that? Say that, say that, say that. And just turn that light off. Do you hear that? That moan? Mm -hmm. That's the pod. What was the moan pod doing? Rampod went off. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> what? <laughs> Stay still. No. Can't get out of control of the camera. Stay still. 
I heard it. I could see it. You point the camera that way, yeah? I saw something moving in the trees. Massive thud. Yeah, I saw something moving in the trees. Right, let's get out of there. Whoa! Okay. Did you hear that? That was the REM. That was the REM again. That was the REM pod. Let's go. We, I think we've done enough. I think we've uh, I we've think found some spirits, haven't we? Yeah. Michael. Michael. Maybe it was Michael who we were communicating with. I on think there. we were. It was clear that both of the locations tonight have their own ghostly stories to tell, and eager to explore the Abbey, Bex and I head straight over, which gives Paul the opportunity to experience the activity happening at the hall. And now aware of our presence, would we all continue to experience something paranormal? Straight away already. Yeah, I go got... to put my camera on, and it said no card, no card, no card, no card. All of a sudden it starts working, so all of us, you know, straight away we've got activity. And problems. We've got the equipment set up at the moment. We've got um, an EDI meter over there. Yeah, we've got over a REM pod over there. REM. And you've put over I've, there... Over there on the, uh, sort of like a window area, is a touch torch. So if that goes off, then we're in action. Um, I've, I've also got um, with me a thermal imaging camera, which I'm going to set up in just a second now, and uh, hopefully, hopefully, we'll be able to get a figure maybe on the camera or some sort of change on it, who knows? Well, if this has not been investigated before, then maybe we might wake up. Maybe, maybe we will. You know, who knows? Who knows? It looked like there was something behind you then. Behind me? Yeah. It really did. Hello? Anybody there? Can you come forward? Communicate to us. This meter's going off again. Oh, that orange light at the bottom. It just it went off again. Yeah. Just then. Yeah. I'm going to get the uh, thermal imaging cap. Whoa! Did you Told hear that? Yeah. So. This is an outdoor location. We all know how much I enjoy outdoor locations. I do and I don't. I've set uh, a rem up here. This is an old fireplace. There's a rem there. There is a rem. We have an old well just over here. And uh, put the touch torch as well to see if uh, that can get anything going for us. I shall be having a mooch around all this area. It's a fair bit to do so we'll have a walk round as we go. It's uh, pitch black without the IR on. Oh, you can't see a thing. Right, I'm just, do you know what I, I think we should do Bex? Yeah. Go inside of the um, Ruins. Ruins. Do you know, I thought I saw some on the camera then, which I'm recording anyway. Oh, that's good, isn't it? Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure if I did. It looks like, I don't know if the camera will do it any justice, but two figures at the end. That's it really might not good. be. Yeah. Let, let's just go down here. I've got a feeling if we're in here, we may capture something. Hope. Whoa, and that was the EDI. Bring the EDI with us. Hopefully. We'll catch something. Oh! 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 Is there a step there? Yeah. I didn't know, it's just the floor, it's uneven though. I feel like it's being pushed. There's it, no light, is there, in here? Yeah. Um, I'm gonna put this on this wall. If there's anybody here in this abbey, in this ruins, can you come forward, communicate with us, let us know that you're here. That was at the back of this. Let's go Did down. you hear? Keep 
see a light over there in the bush. I need to go and check that out. Let's go and have a look. Try and find a, a safe way. What the hell was that? No way. No way. I just saw somebody then. I just saw somebody around here. Is there somebody here with me? Nothing for you to be afraid of. Just trying to find out who you are. Are you the priest that was forgotten about or walled up? Let's try to see. Didn't hear any any movement, but I could have sworn I saw somebody. It's about the third time. I thought I'd seen somebody. Whoa, what happened? There's somebody behind us. You keep pointing that way. I, I've got something this way. I have got something this way. Okay, I'm going to point that way. You go that way. Whoa, something just happened on the camera. Right. Something just flew past the camera and I, it, it caused uh, an anomaly. As we hear the sound of something surrounding us, the thermal imaging camera captures an anomaly and something else which wasn't identified until the edit the shape of a figure standing at the back of the Abbey ruins. On side-by-side -side cameras, it's clear to see that nothing was stood in front of the thermal imaging device that could have emitted a heat source. Perhaps this was an appearance from the monk or even the reported lady in white. Show yourself if you're there. Come towards myself and Bex. It's getting increasingly um, eerie. In here, do yeah. you not reckon? It's getting, it's getting freaky. Yeah, it's getting really freaky. It's getting to the point where you just... What? Oh, oh what's that? It's like a deathly moan. Was that you? We just heard? Oh. Tell you what, this has got just about everything going on this... I know I've said this before, but I mean, you know, ruins of a building. Surrounded by woods, this is definitely a Blair Witch feel to it. It really is. Ghost dimension. There appears to be spirits still wandering around both Lydia Abbey and Hall. And Ghost Dimension believed that tonight with our evidence captured on both camera and audio, we finally caught these elusive souls on camera.